Sadly, Ireland is known as the puppy farm capital of Europe. To help cope with the demand of pregnant mums arriving at the centre, they have a state-of-the-art puppy wing, which includes a maternity ward. Where I met Pitbull Cross, Penny. So Penny, bless her, she came in heavily pregnant to us from another rescue organisation and um, came into our whelping unit because specially designed for her. Um, and unfortunately she gave birth almost straight away. She was only here a few hours and she gave birth overnight, so God love her, she didn't know anybody. Um, so she was quite nervous. Um, her puppies are just amazing, but a sad story behind her. Unfortunately she had 11 puppies, but six died. They passed away um, at birth, so it's very unfortunate. But the other five are striving. Being a dedicated mum, all her puppies are thriving. But Penny still has more work to do for herself in order for her to find her own family. I caught up with canine carer Cheryl to help with her training. So um, she's only really getting introduced to the muzzle now, so we're gonna just uh, do a bit of her muzzle training today, see how she gets on with it. <clears throat> she's yeah, that's the it, muzzle. good girl, yeah. Now she's interested in it, all right. A lot of the time it works better when they're off leads, just they're more comfortable. So what we're doing is we're just getting a bit of uh, enrichment and high value of a bit of hot dog. Ready, good girl. Penny, muzzle, good girl. So she's kind of getting used to that there's going to be something nice. Yeah, something something nice and exactly. Good girl, well done. It can take a couple of minutes for her to calm down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of peanut butter and basically hopefully get a bit of duration out of her holding her nose in the muzzle. Okay. So if you want to just give her a couple of treats there and I'll add a bit of peanut butter too. Here, Penny, come on. Muzzle. Good girl. And yeah. why is it that this particular breed, is she restricted breed and that's why she needs it? She's on the restricted breed list, yeah. So uh, I think there are 10 dogs now on the restricted breed list. So um, when she's out in public, she has to wear a muzzle and then she also can't be walked by um, anyone under 16. With Penny's puppies all ready to be rehomed, it's great news for their mum too, as she has also been booked by an interested family. The next step now is a home visit and I met with John today to see if the new adopters are a suitable match. This is the main part of the house and this is the yard at the back here. Okay, so what we have to do is, Desmond, we just check the back garden Very just good. to make sure that it's secure. So what so, are you looking for here then, John? Okay, so what's most important is that Penny wouldn't have any access to uh, get out of the back garden and it's well secure. Will she be on her own for a certain length of time? Well, we hope to bring her to work with us uh, uh, each day. We have a, a practice in town, we have a, an office space there, and we'd like to right. put the dog there. There yeah. are some other people in the practice, but I think the space is big enough, and if the dog is restful, it should, yeah. should work okay, I think. That'd be brilliant. She's such a soft, gentle, caring, calm dog. She yeah. actually would be perfect with people. Things are going well for Penny, as her new family are doing ongoing training with her. And it won't be long until she can settle into her new home. Penny, let's for you. Good girl, well done.